in terms of the parish here and our legacy plan and uh, strategy, we recognise that uh, we were very lucky to be um, the beneficiaries and sat on uh, quite a substantial amount of um, past legacy giving and there wasn't really any um, long-term plan or strategy to manage that or to deal with it other than it just um, sitting there and, and sort of being spent over a period of time. So um, over the past couple of years we've put into place a, a legacy um, policy uh, that the PCC signed off on that actually if we were uh, the beneficiaries of uh, a legacy then we would look to um, use that to resource specific projects um, and plans um, and then in turn that has helped us um, it's fed into our own uh, mission action plan. So the items in our mission action plan that require uh, funding that is over and above what we would have coming into the parish from uh, congregation members and other means uh, is funded through our legacy giving. The uh, legacy policy that we presented to and was passed by the PCC, um, like many things in the Church of England was um, was pinched uh, from, I think, the Church of England website uh, and, and is the template plan with a few adaptations, um, which was the easiest way of going about it. It's also a very simple document. You know, it's a single piece of, of A4 uh, document that isn't too complicated, uh, that we found fairly easy for the PCC to sign up to and, and agree to. I think talking about legacies is really interesting when you look at the different um, demographics within the church. You know, we have a lot of older people who maybe need some reminder, uh, some encouragement to think about their wills. They might have written them 20, 30 years ago and their own circumstances have changed. And so there's a position for the church to help them there. And then for younger people who have never ever written a will, you know, it's, it's really difficult if they die um, without a will. And maybe the church does have a role in just saying to them, what about will? What about writing your own will? What about doing that and sorting that out? And perhaps you could remember us. In terms of what people might regard as a, as a smaller monetary gift, there would be something that uh, we would be able to use it for that would still be of significant benefit uh, to, to the church and, and the parish. I think people should consider um, legacy giving as part of their overall stewardship, as part of their overall giving, um, because in many respects it, it, is, it is part of um, one's financial planning, one's financial gifts and, and giving. Of course it, it happens when people are no longer with us after, after death, but um, it is a way of, of giving back to the church community, giving back to the church family of which they are part, um, and ensuring that something that they have hopefully benefited from, and, and, and it's a mutual uh, benefit of course, you know, the church benefits from somebody's participation uh, in, in, in the community of, of the family of the church, but also um, it, it is showing that the church is important as an important part in the community and a role to play and therefore it, it should all be wrapped up in both financial giving whilst people are alive, resource and time giving whilst they're alive and then leaving something uh, at the time of death. I think what I'd like to see the church in this parish um, develop into is, is a, an organisation that's open seven days a week. You know, we have some fantastic buildings, large buildings, probably the largest buildings within the parish. And to be able to open them to the um, community, for the community to be, to be able to come in and to use them seven days a week would be fantastic. And, and we're not talking about evangelising necessarily, we're just talking about making the facilities that the church has accumulated available to everybody. I think in conversations with um, 
congregation members who are thinking about you know, making a will or amending their will to include a legacy uh, to the church, to see it as something that uh, will help the church in the church and the parish's long-term sustainability, uh, to leave something behind that will benefit the parish. And, and in many respects, I think, sort of do something over and above so day-to-day uh, -day activities do something over and above than just paying the utility bills or a uh, common mission fund or whatever it might be, but um, has the ability to um, nourish the church and, and sustain the church for years, more years to come um, than in fact, you know, the, the present. And therefore it is, you know, somebody leaving a gift uh, that is for the benefit of future generations.